Hello my fellow garden gals and guys, welcome back to my channel, Serenity Now Garden. My name's Jeannie and I garden in a zone 4B. So today I'm gonna show you a couple different um, annual containers. I'll show a couple different recipes for full sun and part shade, but first I just wanted to show you my fringe tree. It's blooming now and I didn't wanna miss it, so let me take you in for a closer look. Okay, garden friends, so I just really wanted to share with you this tree, it's a white, fringe tree while it's blooming we're just in the end of may here in zone 4b and it is just gorgeous i don't want to miss it I want you to see it we just planted this tree in the fall now this is a female tree we know that because it had berries in the fall they look like grapes like dark uh, purple grapes um, but it does need a male pollinator in order to produce fruit so it won't this year unless we plant a male and we haven't come across one yet, but if we do, we might. Um, as you can see, it is just gorgeous. It has these white feathery, feathery like blossoms. And oh, you guys, it absolutely smells amazing. Like it's kind of similar to freesia. I don't know if you've ever smelled that, but when the wind just kind of takes the aroma, it just hits you and it is just amazing. So, so far this has bloomed about a week and it's still going strong this is my first spring with it so i'm not positive how long it's going to bloom but this plant could take a bit of moisture and it gets about 12 to 15 feet tall and wide so it's almost like a really big shrub um, but it's perfect for our yard because we have some areas where the moisture is a bit um, more than others so really happy to share that with you and yeah, like I said, it just absolutely smells amazing. <laughs> okay, now I'm going to show you some of my annual containers I'm putting together today. The first one here is a part sun container. So it's got a few plants that I have here. We're going to start with my spiller, which is Creeping Jenny. I love gold and Creeping Jenny. It gets to be just a couple feet, couple feet long. I always use those on my part sun containers. We'll put that in the front. And the next plant here, this is a sun patient called Compact Tropical Rose. They thrive in shade or sun. It gets about one to two feet tall and wide. They don't like a lot of fertilizer though, just so you know. So I'll put that on one side here and I'm gonna kinda, oh, draw the colors out of this plant pretty much with the other plants so i have a coleus here there's no name on this one i got it for a dollar 99 at menards which is a big box store here so it gets about 8 to 24 inches tall and wide and it likes moisture so i'll just put it kind of in the front there since it's going to stay a little bit shorter and it does like part sun to shade And this plant is amazing. It's called Blazon Rose Irisine. It gets 18 to 20 inches tall and wide. And it has these gorgeous hot pink stems. That's really why I got it. I think it kind of draws the, out the color of the sun patient blossoms. And yeah, I think it's going to go really good here, kind of towards the back. So once this fills in, I think it's going to look amazing. I'll make sure I won't fertilize it too much, and it does not go in full sun. So there you go. I can't wait to have this fill in. It's going to be great. And I did get just a single celosia. This is a dragon's breath. It's deer resistant couple feet tall and wide and I got a Persian shield I always have to have Persian shield it gets a couple feet tall and wide as well it would really fill in a part sun and we got more creeping Jenny I'm gonna do this big pot here I'm gonna use the creeping Jenny again as a spiller this big pot gets part sun a few hours a day okay and this is called a best pink caladium it gets about a foot and a half tall and wide I wanted to put some pinks in with all the limes and golds that are going to be in this pot. So I thought that was a good addition. Kind of put it front and center. 
I do make weird faces when I plant sometimes. <laughs> I'm concentrating. But I think that'll be a good addition right in front there. And this is a Proven Winners King Tut Papyrus. It gets up to six feet tall. It's got these cool tufts on the end of the stalks there. So this could take part shade to full sun. They do make smaller versions, which is like a prince and a queen tut. But I'm going to use this as a thriller in the back of my pot since it gets so tall. So this pot isn't going to look like much in the beginning, but just give it a few weeks and I think it'll fill in really nice. I'm just hoping it gets enough sun back here to really flourish. And we got a blazing lime irisine. This is the coolest plant. Also has like hot pink stems there. Gets a couple feet tall and wide. And I just thought it was just a cool way to kind of incorporate the pink and the golden lime. So I'll put it just on the side of that palladium there. And we're going to add this Coleus Heartbreaker. This one can take a little bit more sun too, actually. This gets 28 inches tall and 10 inches wide. And since I needed a little more pink here, I think this will do the trick. So once it fills in, you'll really be able to see it more. All right, another Coleus with no name that I got for $1.99 at Menards. And we'll put that on the other side there. So I think that is a good pot there. I don't want to fill it with too much because it will just get really full. This is a Kong coleus. This is like the big leaf coleus. It'll get a couple feet tall and wide. I got this at Menards as well. So we're going to kind of put that in back there since it's more like green. It'll get a little bit bigger, and there you go. <laughs> so on to the next one here. This is going to be a full sun container. I'm starting with these sweet potato vines. You can see this purple sweet potato vine is actually flowering. So we have purple and gold. I'll put gold on the sides and purple down the center. This is a container that I've been thinking about a lot, and I'm really excited. So this is actually a Lydia banana plant. It can take full to part sun and it gets up to eight feet tall. The variety is called Musa Mar Morelia, I believe it's called. So I got the idea of using a banana plant as a thriller in the back of the pot from the Impatient Gardener. I don't know if you've ever seen her channel, Erin. But she did this last year. It was a different variety. I think she had like a, a red banana plant that got even taller than this one. But when I saw her do it, I just really wanted to do it too. I'm sure a lot of people will jump on that trend this year because it's just such a cool, cool plant. So I'm just kind of filling in around there. And I'm going to put this lantana around it. Now, this lantana is called Bandolero Pink Mounded Lantana. It can take full sun, it's heat tolerant, a couple feet tall and wide, and it's just gorgeous, like a pink lemonade type color. And then I have this Rainbow Ascot Spurge. So cool. It'll, it's also called Euphorbia. And it'll get about 20 inches tall and wide. It can take part sun to full sun it can really take the heat so when that fills in there it'll get it'll just be gorgeous so it gets these like pink tinges around the edges so i really had to have this plant this year this is one that i actually ordered another lantana on the other side that pink lemonade type of color and i was gonna put more in after this but i decided i didn't want to overcrowd it i was gonna put some Gonfrina in the back, but I decided let's see how big these lantanas can get and We'll just kind of go from there. I could always add some later But if that euphorbia is gonna get you know 20 inches tall and wide I just really don't want to overdo it 
So there you go. I think it turned out perfect. I'm just so happy with it. I cannot wait to see. These banana plants are supposed to grow really fast, so I just cannot wait to see what happens. Yay! <laughs> And I'm also going to do a hanging basket for you guys next. We're going to start with the the spiller, which will be Dichondra Silver Falls. So this could take, could actually take full sun, but it does best in part shade. It gets a couple feet long. So we'll put that front and center. This is kind of a small pot. But I think it'll be gorgeous, kind of dangling down. I'm going to fill this with Dracula Calabricoa. I love Calabricoas. These kind of stay short, about 7 inches um, tall, but about 10 inches wide. Full sun, monthly fertilizer. Um, but Calabricoas are so easy. You don't have to keep, you know, taking off the spent blooms. And I just love the color. I'm going to put one on each side. So we'll see how that looks as it fills in. And in the back, I'm going to put this Obsession Twisted Purple Verbena. It gets 8 inches tall, 12 inches wide. I got a couple of these here. I'm probably just going to have room for about two. I don't want to overdo it, but I'll kind of put it in the back. So we'll see how that looks. It's going to be up a little bit high, so I'm hoping these plants will get tall enough. If not, maybe I'll put it down lower. I could swish it out with another hang basket I have. But I think it's just a really good shade type of basket. And like I said, the Calabricoas just are such a pretty color. And I'll give you a close-up look of this basket since I'm a little bit far away. But I think it's just perfect. I think those colors go together well. And once that verbena fills in in the back, I think it's going to look great. I just hope um, it, it likes the spot for it. <laughs> but we'll see. First time using these flowers here, so... And here are the plants I have left. We just have this really cool gomfrina that I might put in the full sun container if it needs a little something. And we have a couple of verbenas left. So those are my annual containers. I hope you guys like that. Happy gardening.